this is very top market, I can tell you. Afternoon tea at the Montanati, the beautiful Montanati. Brian Bowler, the GM, is in the studio with me. Thanks for coming in, pal. How are you? Good, Neil. Thanks for having me. Super work done in the Montanati, though, over the past few years. Incredible the way that the building was revamped and the gardens were done and so much. It's just magnificent. Yeah, it's really great. We're, we're so proud of it now. And um, I think it's a, it's a hotel that the people of Cork can be really proud of. And it's it's no better place to showcase uh, the city than from the terrace up in, up in Panorama oh Bistro. Yeah. It's and just you can amazing. walk out onto the most beautiful panoramic area, which is actually, it's kind of split level, isn't it? It is a split level. And um, we've, we've done a lot of work in our gardens now. And we've got these beautiful Victorian gardens with a, an amazing fountain. And you can have your afternoon tea. How you brought that right back there. is beyond me because they were well out of control at one stage. Yeah, yeah. They? It's it's been a lot, a lot of hard work and... Uh, uh, a lot of investment and obviously the owner Frankie Whelan and his wife Josephine are really passionate about the hotel and about you know bring, restoring it to former glories and, and even enhancing it even further. Food's so, terrific there we've had a couple of Christmas parties there and it's been ace Yeah no it's been great having you as well like, it's it's great to have uh, the local business community in particular kind of embrace the hotel so much. I and, love it, uh, the inside and the outside and with the spring and the summer coming it gives it an, yet another reason and another aspect of the hotel that Absolutely, can be utilised. yeah it's a really exciting time of year for us you know, going into the spring with the, the gardens are going to be blooming again oh. Oh, it's going to be great. It's great to be. It's great to be talking about the longer evenings, isn't oh, it? Oh, you can see the stretch already. Absolutely, in the evenings. yeah, it's been great this yeah. week. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what have you got? I see this, and you know, this is afternoon tea. I want to give it away, but it's with a very unique cork flavour to it. It is so the, the Montanati for the third year running are the headline sponsors for the the Cork Chamber of Commerce annual annual dinner, and we wanted to kind of mark the occasion with something kind of pure Cork, really. I, I suppose you know. So tell me, just say that to me again about the uh, chamber. So we're the headline sponsors uh, this year for the annual cha- Chamber of Commerce dinner. It's um, two hundred years old. The two hundred years old. So we we felt it was such a special occasion. Two hundred years. Yeah, old. it was amazing. So I kind of tasked my uh, my my pastry chefs in particular, two two French guys actually in the pastry. Uh, in our kitchen <laughs> and I went in and I asked him would they, would French mind? guys yeah. doing a cork twist so what I actually asked him is would you mind producing an afternoon tea and maybe replicate some, some of the buildings in Cork but they had a bit of a sacral blue <laughs> moment and looked at me and said uh, uh, no <laughs> so uh, said, no we will not do it leave it with us and we'll see what we come up with so with the help of some of their Cork colleagues in the kitchen they um, they came up with a very innovative uh, a- afternoon tea um, and of course the whole reason that you shouldn't leave a general manager into the kitchen uh, Neil was this morning I went in to pick up the afternoon tea to bring out and I had a little accident so I'm missing one or two of the items you didn't morning. drop it did I, you? well yeah kind of half you had a speed it. wobble did <laughs> you? I had a speed wobble yeah yeah. so <laughs> we're missing one of our key ones actually which is our, our uh, cork gin trifle uh, which is a beautiful oh kind of, get out uh, yeah, leave yeah. the building <laughs> leave the building alright so are you on top of I mean I have the list here do you want me to do it or are you on top yeah, of it yeah absolutely yeah go ahead Jack. okay you've got Ard Salah and Meline's cheese bites with the Ballymaloo relish this is cork as it comes cork gin trifle Murphy's stud chocolate tart Barry's tea creme brulee tenora pate de fruit am I pronouncing that yeah, right? yeah these guys here are the tenora, he? ta- tenora pate de fruit so, yeah. so that's actually tenora flavoured jelly yeah that's wow. it yeah and they, they, they make it in a tray and they leave it set and it's uh, what did the French chefs th- think of tanora did they like it well they, they their thing was the pate de fruit so they we introduced the tanora to that and they, they quite like the tanoras plenty of bottles of tanora in our kitchen at the moment alright and behind the bar too uh, I hope yeah, yeah. Middleton Rare Whiskey Fudge and that's before uh, yeah, we even look at the here. yeah. Before we even look at the the, the sambos down there. Yes, the uh, Middleton Ware whiskey fudge is uh, my personal favourite. Very tasty, you now very nice. Can you uh, drive after that? Um, ah, you can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you just have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you doing teas and coffees and you're doing Prosecco and all that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, you can upgrade it to Prosecco or add a glass of champagne. So the afternoon tea starts at €32. Euro, uh, and you can add Do you get euro. that? Yeah, as well as a few other um, bits and pieces with it as well and your, your tea, your selection of teas and infused teas and, and coffees as I well. I should have so. said this. We're on Facebook Live, lads, if you want to have a quick look at what's, uh, what's available the television version of, of Red FM. Who's the target market for this? Like, who go, who has afternoon tea? Um, we find we find that uh, Saturday is a very busy time for us for afternoon tea. We get lots of big groups, uh, particularly ladies. Um, during the week, we'd have a lot of, you know, you might have a couple of generations of a family. You might have uh, the mom and her daughter and maybe even a granddaughter coming in and you'd have four or five of them and they having their afternoon tea. Um, you want to be well hungry yeah. now to get through that lot? The, the, the male market now, we, we need to crack that one on the afternoon teas. We need to get more of the men up and, and try our afternoon teas. I'm there teas. front and centre. <laughs> no problem, lads. You want to get involved in this. And of course, it is uniquely... Uh, I was going to use the word foraged in Cork, but it is it is a it form is, of yeah, foraging. Yeah, yeah. The only one again with the influence from our, our chefs is that they struggled with one of them. So there's one called Panna Cotta. Panna. <laughs> yeah. So the only thing in Cork about that is actually the name. But uh, 
yeah, the, it's a it's an Italian uh, style dessert, but uh, yeah, it's superb. We didn't Listen, have to do much with it. The name did it all for us. I think it looks great. It's a great offering. It's there at the Montanati. Let us give away three uh, Cork afternoon teas, shall we? Okay, is that three by two? Three? Okay, by two, which is three couples. one 106 Continued success. Brian, thank you for coming in. It's good to no see problem, you. No Neil. Thanks for having Wonderful me. Wonderful stuff. Get darling on that one. Afternoon tea. Three sets of two on one 106 Before you go, can I just say, you mentioned Frankie there. I actually was lucky enough to be in Dublin two weekends ago and I stayed in the Wilder Townhouse, which is one of Frankie's, um, you know, uh, cre- creations and rebuilds and refits. It's extraordinary. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really, really Oh, my good. God. Yeah, we use the same interior designers at the Montanati and it's, it's what really... Is with really this guy is, is, is he's got I don't know, it's, is it, it's the epitome of boutique it's an amazing it's he's got amazing a great head on him though isn't he for, for spotting something and, yeah, and, yeah. and, and but like for anybody going to Cork a little, little bit of Dublin. a Cork oasis in Dublin it's, and it's a great location on Adelaide Road so it's very superb sensible. it's called the Wilder Town House it goes back to it was a, it was a retirement home for governesses that's right that's back correct back in the day yeah. in the 1830s yeah, yeah. and 40s <laughs> alright good to see you thanks a lot we're out of time guys the lines are open for all other business on 1850 104 106 have a good week